In this lesson, we'll add a light wrap to add just a little bit more of the light from the background onto our car. We'll also have to play around with our alpha channels to get the proper result. Okay, so let's just go ahead and clear our properties bin for now, just so we are kind of starting off fresh here in our lesson 11. And let's get to adding our light wrap. So I'm going to come down here closer to the bottom of everything and just kind of start looking at where we want to add the light wrap. So I want to add it with um, just kind of down here before our final merge that's going to bring on the background so that we're looking at the car. Um, so probably kind of somewhere in this area here is going to make the most sense. So let's go ahead and just drop on the light wrap node. So just hover your mouse over the node graph, hit the tab key, and we'll just type in light and that'll bring up light wrap for us. Not a light node, just light wrap. There you go. And then we have an A and a B pipe. So we have to make a choice of what we um, want to designate as the background and the foreground in this situation. So obviously we want our car to be our foreground. So I'm just going to drop this on right here and it'll automatically connect up that A pipe to the area where our car is. And now I want my background to be this color correct node, but I don't want to have a diagonal pipe. So what I'm going to do is hold control and it's going to allow me to create another dot node right there. So this is something we really haven't done yet is um, create a dot node just to keep that pipe straight even when we want it to connect to a named node basically. So um, that's a little bit different but it's going to have exactly the same effect as if you plugged it in like that. It just is a little more organized looking. Okay so now that we have the light wrap let's go ahead and just turn up the intensity. So the problem we start to get as we do this is we're getting light in the areas we want but we're also getting it in the area we don't want it which is here on our ground shadow. So that doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't get a light wrap on that. You're only going to get it on the actual reflective car. So why is this happening? Well, let's take a look at the light wrap. Just, um, well, this is fine. We can just look at that merge five. That'll work. Um, and then we're going to come up here to our RGB and just choose A. So the reason why this is happening is because our alpha channel includes that ground shadow that the ambient occlusion was making because um, in some earlier lessons we added that in so that the ambient occlusion shadow would be visible. So because we did that, we now need to basically tell our light wrap to not use this alpha channel but to use our original alpha channel that only contained that car information. So we're going to have to to isolate that channel and actually save it in with the rest of the channels that we've been using for our compositing. So let's go back to our RGB view and figure out where is a good place in our node tree. I just middle clicked there to look at the whole tree. Where's a good place in our node tree that preserves or still has that original unedited alpha. Now we remember that we didn't actually add that in until um, right about here. This is the alpha where that inverted or the merge where that inverted alpha came into play. Um, so really at any point above that we would have that alpha that we want. But I actually find that, you know, we might as well go all the way back to the beginning where that original alpha channel was coming from out of the read node simply because that's going to be really easy to grab it from and not have a random shuffle node um, in the rest of our node tree that could be confusing. So let's just grab that from the very top. So um, I'm just going to move that read node up a little bit and let's go ahead and drop in a shuffle node. So we'll just come up here to our channels, choose shuffle, and it's automatically just going to drop that in between the read node and the hue shift when we have the read node selected. Okay, so what do we want to tell? this. Right now it's just defaulting to piping in the RGBA information, but I want it to only take that alpha information. So let's go ahead and change this from RGBA to alpha. Now if I do that, it's going to have kind of an adverse effect on what is happening to my car in the image. 
So it looks like it's not the in that we want to change. So let's change that back to RGBA. So we still have our RGBA information. And that makes sense because we want to preserve that RGBA information throughout the rest of our tree. So what we need to do is actually to get the alpha channel out of this to preserve it. So the out is going to be this area over here. So let's drop down this out and um, it doesn't really look like we have a place that would make sense for this alpha to go in because we don't want to um, overwrite this alpha. This is going to be something different. So we need to actually just shuffle our alpha into a completely new channel. So let's go ahead and say new and then we'll call this something like BMW mats because we are going to be using the alpha as a mat. BMW mats, just in case we ever need to have any other mats in here, which in this course we won't, but if you were going to continue compositing, you might um, have other things stored in that channel set. And then the channel we want, let's just call it car mat, because we only want the alpha channel. We don't want anything else, so we don't need to populate it with the RGBA information. So go ahead and say OK to that. And now, because we just chose one channel to name, it only is giving us one X. And we want to put that in the alpha channel. So you can just click that just like that. And so now this shuffle node is done. So. Let's go ahead and come down here to the bottom of our node tree um, where that merge five is. And let's just see if we can look at this BMW mat, see if that information made it all the way down. So we'll choose BMW mats and that looks pretty good. That's really what we're wanting. We just want that outline of our car without the ground. So perfect. Let's turn that back to RGBA. And now we need to figure out a way to tell our light wrap to use that new alpha channel that we've stored um, from our original. So let's go ahead and clear our properties bin again. And basically we just need another shuffle node. So we need to shuffle that into the light wrap. So the background is still going to be the same, obviously. We're getting information from back here that's being bled onto the car. So we really need to have the shuffle um, before this light wrap. So that's going to be um, on the A pipe. So let's go ahead and drop in another shuffle node. I'm just going to deselect just like that. And I'm going to put this on the A pipe here. So let's just go ahead and put that just right above th this um, shuffle here. And then maybe we could add in um, a dot node for each of these just to make that a little more um, organized, just like that. I'm just holding control to grab those dot nodes and pull them out. Okay, so now the light wraps basically going back in here um, and we need to shuffle in the new um, alpha channel that we've stored, which is actually our original. So we still want the RGBA information to be coming in because if we change that to just the alpha, obviously that's not going to look right. So we still want our color info, but we have the option with a shuffle node to have two inputs. So for our second input, let's choose what the channel set that we just created, the BMW mat. So now, instead of taking the alpha from our RGBA channel, which includes that ground, we'll take the alpha from our BMW mat, which only is the alpha of our car. So we just need to X that little box there. And you can see that immediately that um, alpha moves off of the ground. We're not seeing that anymore. So um, now let's go, let's clear that properties bin again and open back up the light wrap and I turned up the intensity pretty high just so that you'd be able to see um, the whole thing kind of coming in here. So we can turn this up just maybe a little bit. We don't want it quite so much. Um, and then you can diffuse that out just to kind of break that up a little bit and just have that be a lighter um, area where the bleed is coming onto the car. So you can play around with the diffuse and the intensity, but that's really the only two properties we want to tweak for this particular scenario. So this um, actually looks really good. It's really clean way to have these nodes together um, and everything's really looking pretty good, but there is one small problem. I am noticing that the ground shadow underneath our wheels that we were getting from that ambient occlusion is gone again. 
So because of this um, new alpha that we've used for our light wrap, now that's the alpha that's getting used um, by the time we get down here to that final merge. So let's just make sure that that's correct. We'll view this merge here and change from RGB to alpha. And just as I suspected, there's no alpha on the ground. So that makes sense because we shuffled in that different alpha to our light wrap and that's the last thing that's feeding into our merge as far as that foreground alpha information. So we need to actually, instead of um, just using that final light wrap as the RGBA information, we let's just merge it back into this pipe so it just goes on top and then we still have that original alpha. So instead of having a dot node here, we just wanna have a merge node. So I'm just gonna delete the dot node by selecting it and we can go back to our RGB information and let's drop in a merge node. So just hover over this empty area here, hit the M key and then let's figure out which pipe we want to be our A pipe and which pipe we want to be our B pipe. Well, so far we've pretty much used our B pipe for everything that we've done that's kind of coming down this middle area here. So let's go ahead and just keep with that same school of thought. So I think the easiest way to connect this would be actually to disconnect this B from the light wrap and we'll just hook it into the dot node. Um, so we lose the light wrap, but we get back the ambient occlusion shadow at the bottom. And then we'll just drop our merge kind of over the B here. So that B is now hooked into the merge. And then we can just take the A pipe for our foreground image and drop that onto the light wrap. So now we have the light wrap back in business, but we also have our ambient occlusion. So um, you can use over, you could also maybe try a few different other modes, maybe if you tried plus, um, but that really lightens up the car a little bit too much. So I would probably just stick with over for this just to maintain some of that other color information we've been working to get. So now that we have that light wrap finished up, I want to come in here and deal a little bit with a couple of other things that have been bothering bothering me. So um, if we zoom in here at the bottom of the cart, you'll notice we get a little bit of a black alias line. And I think we can use um, an, a road node to kind of help clean that up. That's kind of just a pre-multiplication issue you can get sometimes where you get a black outline on the edge of your car. And since our car is pretty dark, it's not too terribly apparent, but we can make it just a little bit better and just a little bit better integrated with the background by doing that.